Hello everyone, Captain Turner here. Um, today I wanted to share something with you all. Um, it's about um, your FPS and what a lot of people might be doing wrong. So, as we know, every update seems to affect the FPS um, in some way for a lot of people. Um, and a lot of people have been saying that um, upon updates with the... Uh, with the GPU and Microsoft Flight Simulator, they're seeing frames dropping. Now, I had the same problem. Now, I regard my PC to be um, a, a very good quality PC, and it runs a lot of stuff of very high quality. Um, but I've had the same issue of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Every update, I see frames dropping and dropping and dropping. So I'm on the internet, and I'm searching and searching and searching for ways to increase that. But you always seem to be getting um, stuttering as well. And I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And the more videos I watched, the more settings I tweaked, it just, for some reason, just didn't seem to help. So uh, I've had a little play around and I think I've figured out um, what's actually been the problem. And now I'm hoping for i'm hoping that this will help a lot of people out with their uh, fps so that's why i've made this video now as you can see i'm in the uh the bonanza and i'm currently getting um from cockpit view uh 58 to nearly 60 uh, fps in cockpit view um, i'm at 5,000 feet so it's going to be a little bit lower i guess and uh, about 60 again um from the outside view um, I can um, move the aircraft around and it seems to be quite smooth um, I'm getting no jaggering or twitching or, or anything of that nature anymore from what I've done um, it's, I'm having the time of my life with the sim at the minute to be honest um, if there is any stuttering at the moment that might be because I'm using my Streamlab OBS to record this video um, but that will be the only reason why. Also, there's a couple of frames drop because of that as well, and I've got some other things going as well, because um, I want to show you a couple of other things to do with VR as well, so you can have a much better experience. Now, the frame rates in this Bonanza, I know, would be a fairly high um, anyway, but also I've tested it, out, tested it out with the A320NX, and it's pretty much the same. Um, maybe not 60 in cockpit view just yet but we're above 45 um, all the time in the A320 um, that's in the cockpit view so um, and it's above 55 in the outside view but I've only taken that to 5,000 feet as well but as you know the higher you go the sort of the better it is so let me tell you what I've done so if I just pause this just for a second, I'm also going to be showing you what settings I have in the simulator as well. So when I first went to search for what the problems were and how I could iron them out, um, most videos were coming back to the same same exact thing. Everyone was on the videos are saying, right, go to your go to your um, Nvidia control panel. You know, set this, set that. You know, in uh, manage 3D settings, you've got all these settings in here. You know, and they're, they're, they're saying, you know, change this, you know, the anti aliasing. Uh, basically, um, just telling you to change this max frame rate, uh, open GL rendering GPU, um, change this and change that, and then got a program settings, got a Microsoft Flight Simulator, and change this and change that. Well, let me tell you something about all of that. This is where your problem lies with the simulator. I know people out there have done YouTube videos about the uh, control panel here, but they are really only just trying to help. You know, maybe it's helped them somewhat, um, but it's it's just um, it's been helping me. So I thought until I'd done what I'd done and realised actually none of that actually works, and it seems to make things a lot worse in the simulator, especially for frames per second. So, this is my advice to you. I'm going to tell you what to do now, and then I'm going to show you what settings I have 
in my sim. If you want to know uh, my computer specs, they will be in the description. So, the NVIDIA control panel here, this, this is what I did. Um, first thing I did was downloaded the basically the older drivers that came when Microsoft Flight Simulator first first came out. Now I'm not telling you to necessarily change that, you know, it's always best to keep it up to date. But for me, I've I've changed it back um, to I will show you the version what I've changed mine back to. Um, and you can download this yourself, just put your um just just type in um, NVIDIA driver search type in your um, type in your GPU and then uh, click search basically but up, just remember up here where it says Windows driver type um, yours could be standard or it could be um, DCH and the way to find that out is go to your uh, Nvidia control panel and um, go to sorry go to help and go to system information and you will find that um, just in here where it says driver type mine is DCH so if I was to download the driver I would download it and select DCH make sure this is selected with your operating system and then I click search and the driver um, what I have is this one here GeForce game ready driver 452.06 do not worry about downloading any tool to get rid of any trace of other drivers. Just download that and install it. And once you've installed it, remember, <clears throat> please remember, just restart your machine. Now, like I said, you don't have to download this driver. You could also try this out with uh, the updated driver. Um, and if that doesn't work as well, just download this driver here. You know, it's... It was one of the best ones when the sim first came out, and it still works absolutely fine. Um, you can see what um, GPU I have. I have the RTX uh, 2070 Super. So if anyone's got that, like I said, look at the specs in my uh, description as well. Or just, you've got to play around sometimes, and that's, that's all I've been doing. Um... So now let's have a look at the control panel. And this is what I did with the control panel. I went to manage 3D settings. I went to global settings here. And instead of using everything that I've seen on the internet or YouTube videos and people saying switch this on and turn this to this or that or whatever it was. Reset defaults. You want restore defaults. Do the same for program settings. Restore defaults <clears throat> and this is after you've um, installed your driver your GPU driver just keep going through here reset everything to um, restore defaults um, everything you pretty much need to um, I will mention I'm running uh, 1080p as well so I'm not 4k um, but still it's um, pretty good so just restore defaults on everything. You can adjust your video um, color settings if you like, um, or your video image settings, but don't adjust any of these. I'm telling you now, this doesn't work for the sim at the moment. It just, it makes it stutter. It, it will seem all right for the first hour or so, or maybe for a few flights, and then all of a sudden you'll, you'll start noticing that the stuttering's come back come on you all must have noticed that and then your frames drop this this isn't helping so just restore this to default we don't need this we, we need this out of the way and uh, now I'll show you my specs what I'm running on my PC that I've found to be really good um, so full screen resolution mine is set 1920 10 1080 okay so um, We've got the global rendering quality set to custom here. V-Sync is off. Render scaling resolution 1920 1080. I set this to 100. I don't really see too much um, difference um, if I've got that to 100 or 150. 200 is perhaps too high. Um, but this is absolutely fine for graphics. Uh, it's, it, it's brilliant. Um, Anti-aliasing is TAA. 
terrain level of detail I've set to 150 there's not that much difference between 150 and 200 but there is a difference in FPS but still at 150 we are looking at really nice graphics really nice scenery to look at um, and a very smooth smooth running aircraft terrain vector data is ultra buildings are ultra trees are ultra grass and bushes i've turned this off and this is a this is personal preference to be honest for me i don't have that on uh, when i'm when i'm on grass i just look at the grass and i just think well i don't think it's i don't think it's that nice in the sim you know when you're looking at it it just seems to stand out and be too sort of cartoony even on ultra so i've got rid of that i've turned it off object level of detail you don't really notice a lot with this either but in uh, frames per second you do i've set mine to 100 we've got volumetric clouds i'm on ultra texture resolution is on ultra anastropic filtering 16 times texture super sampling eight times eight texture synthesis i've got that on ultra water waves i've got that on high shadow maps i leave this to 1024 the same as terrain shadows it's perfect you don't really um you don't really need them set too high but this is absolutely fantastic for um uh visual quality and everything you know 1024 like i said leave it on that you, you you're not going to have any problems you're not going to see too much difference contact shadows i've got high windshield effects i've had medium now these this will take a couple of um, FPS away from you depending if you have this on high or, or medium but um, I like to keep this on medium anyway ambient occlusion I've got that on ultra reflections I've got that on medium this affects the FPS very very slightly as well maybe one to two frames light shafts these don't really affect your uh, FPS at, at all really so you can have this on it's, this is per personal preference light shafts bloom personal preference uh, depth of field I keep to medium motion blur I do not like motion blur this is personal preference I hate it I don't like it I want to move and be able to see I don't want that blurriness lens correction and lens flare I keep off as well and glass cockpit refresh rate I'll obviously keep that to medium like a lot of people so these are my PC settings for um, for um, the for the sim that I um, use with my um, with my graphics card and my PC setup. Like I said, with a control panel, restoring that to default first. Make sure you restart your um, machine and everything as well. Do not um, make the mistake of just doing it and then going straight on it and then tweaking your settings. Just always restart when you've altered anything in here um, just to make sure that all sets correctly and that will that will be fine so if you do um, find that this has really helped you out and you've used these settings just um, give me a like it will really help me out you know give me a like subscribe um, anything really anything's appreciated um, I just wanted to help a few people out but like I said the, when these people are telling you to change this that and the other on the settings so a lot of people do know what they're doing and they do know what they're talking about on YouTube I don't want to dish them whatsoever because they are there just like me they are trying to help people out so that you get the best out of your simulator and that is all I'm trying to do I'm not trying to tread on anybody's toes I'm literally trying to give you another option to try so give that a try uh, maybe comment let me know what's um, going on and uh, I'll, I'll try and get back to you if you have any questions right so the um, next thing I wanted to show you was um, the VR settings um, I've got the Rift S by the way so I'm going to show you now that I've got this uh, as smooth as anything as well I mean I don't um, uh, well before before I change this control panel uh, you know it was stuttering all over the place I'm I'm I love to fly the A through 20 NX but you jump in the cockpit with all of these settings in here that have been set that I've looked at on the internet um, and it, you know you're moving your head and everything's stuttering and nothing looks that quality but you need that quality you don't want stuttering while you're flying like that so again the restore, restore defaults I've tried all of this out and it, it is perfect now 
once you um once you sort that out like i said and you have vr like i said i've got a rift s obviously you'll need um your oculus debug tool this is what i set my debug tool to um i've got my these are the only things i change really um with the uh with the rift s pixels per display pixel override i set that to 1.5 okay now the next two things i change are the adaptive GPU performance scale right now I keep that off um, I th it works absolutely fantastic just keep that off any asynchronous space warp I've set that to force 45 FPS ASW disabled they're the only two are the only three settings in here you really need to adjust once you've adjusted them I will now show you my actual um, simulator settings for my vr and i can honestly tell you these are the best settings i've had it runs really really smooth okay so i'm now going to switch to the vr and these are the settings i use for my vr render scaling i leave that to 100 anti-aliasing taa terrain level of detail i leave it 100 terrain vector data is ultra buildings ultra trees ultra uh, grass and bushes again I leave that off I see no reason to have that on object level of detail again I've got that set to 100 volumetric clouds and texture resolution is ultra anastropic filtering 16 times 8 by 8 there same as what I use um, on the normal PC settings texture synthesis again ultra water waves high 1024 and 1024 for shadow maps and terrain shadows uh, contact shadows I've got off windshield effects again medium ambient occlusion I have actually got that off in here reflections are off light shafts off bloom um, I don't know why I've got that on I wanted that off so I'll just switch that off there glass cockpit refresh rate medium and I can tell you now you jump in the a320 with these settings and everything you've done to your um, if you've changed your G GPU driver and your control panel, reset that all to defaults. I'm I am certain you won't have many problems, and you will actually feel like everything is running smooth. Well, that's the idea of this um, uh, video, really. It's just another option for people to go ahead and try out. If you're a bit worried about trying it out, please don't worry. Just I don't know. Look at your settings first, maybe take a photo of or screenshot of all your settings so that you can always revert back if this doesn't work for you. But I'm pretty certain it will work. Um, but like I said, always have the, the backup option. So uh, screenshot or take a photo from your phone on your TV, you know, just make sure you've got uh, the settings that you have now so you can always go back if you want. So you will have really good VR and everything once you do all of this um, and that is pretty much all I wanted to um, talk about and like I said this, this video is just to help you guys out you know I appreciate everyone else's videos as well but this one um, definitely works for me so again links to my socials will be in the description my PC specs will be in the description too um, I hope that I have covered everything I'm trying to think um, to make sure that I haven't left anything out or forgotten anything and I do believe I haven't so I'm gonna end the video now um, like I said give me a like subscribe to if um, if you feel like it um, I'm not asking you to but well I am asking you to but you don't have to if you don't want to but um, I really hope um, this helps a lot of people out so that's uh, that's all for now. I'm Captain Turner, and I will see you all again soon. Take care.